in this next video I'm going to show you how to use the spot brush tool in Photopea. Now for this one you're going to need to have an image to edit. Now I have saved an image for you to have a go at at the bottom of the assignment called Rustic Rope Install and I click on it and you can see that it's a particularly boring photograph of some ropes in someone's back garden, not my garden. Um, I've used a really boring image because I'd like you to use one of your own but if you can't find one of your own you can use my image okay so once you've clicked on the image to save it to your device you right click on it and you go to save image as and I would always recommend putting it somewhere sensible in a sensible named place so I'm going into my documents media and photo P and I'm going to save it in there Okay, but as I say, you can use your own image and I'd like to see some variation on the images. Okay, then you go to Photo P. So we learned how to do this in the last video. You type Photo P into Google um, and it will come up as the top link. In Photo P, you want to open up your image or my saved boring image of some ropes. Okay, so I'm going to find mine. I saved it in media, Photo P. And there it is, a rustic rope install. Okay, now in this um, um, video, I'm going to show you how to use um, this tool. Let me show you, it's this one here. The Spot Healing Brush. The Spot Healing Brush. So I'm going to click on that one. Um, and as you can see on, on the screen, there's a tiny little brush. And what this little brush does, instead of drawing on your picture like the last brush did, this one, the brush tool, this will actually remove parts of your image, get rid of get rid of bits of it. I'm actually going to just zoom in a little bit so I can get a better look at some parts of this image. Go back to my spot to healing brush now. Um, and you can see that the actual brush size is pretty good for, to get rid of this rope. It, it's pretty good. But if I needed to make it a little bit bigger up here, I can change the size of my spot healing brush. I can make it a tiny little bit bigger if I think it needs to be. I think that might be a little bit too big. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay. When I'm happy with that, what I do is I go along parts of the image that I would like to remove. Spot healing brush is used to remove parts of your image that you don't want to appear. Now I click on that leave it for a few seconds it takes a few seconds to think about it and then as you can see it disappears um, the rope disappears now what's actually happening is photopy is looking at what's immediately around the um, rope and it's going to predict what would have been behind the rope and you can see that it does a pretty good job there's a little bit there to get rid of a little tiny bit there of rope that that might need to be getting rid of. Now, I left the end of the rope um, and the, the little bracket, if you like. So I'm gonna get rid of that now because that looks a bit strange being left there on its own. So I'll just, yep, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Um, I'll try up here and get rid of this rope now. Do, 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 do. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. A little bit of rope shadow there. Try and get rid of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I want you to have a little practice and a little play of using the spot healing brush. Now, if you wanted to have a, a really good go at my picture, my boring picture of a garden, down here are some random apples on that step. And when I was practicing this um, before, I found it quite difficult to get rid of these apples and make it look um good i'll show you what i mean can you see that it, it didn't predict it well enough now i think if i had a little play with that enough times i reckon i could get that perfected so as a little challenge as a little bit of an extension task i want you to try and get rid of a portion of your image that's a bit complicated and see if you can really hone your spot healing brush skills to get rid of it so that it can't be seen. Maybe I got rid of too much in one go, I don't know. You're gonna to need to have a little practice and a little play. Once you've done it, 
you go to file and you can save as PSD if you wanted to work on it some more. Um, and then once it's completely saved, um, or completely done rather, you can then export it as a JPEG. And you're going to need to export it as a JPEG. So we'll click on that save. And there it is there. Oh, I don't know what that is. Go away. Uh, okay, so I'm going to click on that. There's my picture with those ropes gone. I'd like to save it somewhere um, somewhere better. Okay, so there's my rustic rope install that I've just saved. I'm going to um, cut, go to my documents, go to media, go to photopea. This is where I've been saving my all my stuff. Right click, paste, and now, uh, oh yes, I might as well. The other one's pretty boring. This one's much better. Um, I'm going to then upload that and attach it to the assignment on Google Classroom. Have a go and I look forward to seeing your edited images.